All right, Dana, first of all, how was the ride through Canastota? How was the parade? It was beautiful. Um, I'm so honored to be here with my trainer, with Lucia, and to see the love um, and the support that, um, what an incredible career she's had, you know, and, and the love that she's receiving. It's beautiful. It shows boxing is alive and well. How did you get into, uh, into boxing, I guess, in the first place? I, I actually just joined a boxing gym to lose weight. And, um, and I found a love for the sport. I've always been a very athletic person my whole life. And um, I fell in love with it and I was good at it. And, um, and it just, you know, I, I've always been a fighter my whole life. And, uh, you know, but boxing found me and I became a boxer. How did you first link up to, uh, to, with Lucia and, and get involved with her? Yeah, I'm, I, I was still training and living in Australia and I had a trip in to LA and a friend hooked us up together and you know, we connected straight away and we just knew that we were supposed to work together and, and that was three years ago and you know, since then you know, I was a champion when she got me and, and she, you know, she's made me the WBC champion and, and now pound for pound number one in the world. So you know, it's onwards and upwards. You know? To be the best, you've got to surround yourself with the best. I heard an interview with you recently and you said that you've never been hurt in the ring, but your trainer has hurt you. How difficult are training camps with her? How, how hard does she push you in the gym? Um, they've never been more intense. Um, but, and, and I thank God for it every day because um, without that intensity and, and she, she demands perfection, so um, I'm always trying to achieve that. And you know, by the time I get into the ring and, and, and we face off with my opponents, you know, I, I'm as ready as I could ever be. What is it that keeps you motivated? Because as I understand it, you certainly didn't have to become a boxer. You were successful outside of the sport even before that. What keeps you motivated to go in there and continue doing what you're doing? You know, I'm, I'm very gifted I'm, and, and very lucky that I receive so much messages every day from um, the, the loyal fans out there. And to hear the, that we are able to inspire them in some way, shape or form to pursue new jobs or careers, um, to, to lose weight, to do anything that they deem you know, possible, that we've inspired them in some way, that'll, that keeps me going. If we can help change one life, it's, it's more than enough. I have to ask you about this, even though you know it was a, a touchy subject for a little while. But the, the fight with Frieda Wahlberg, a lot of fighters have difficulty bouncing back after something tragic like that in the ring. How did you handle it afterwards? How difficult was it emotionally? Uh, I mean, it was. You know, as a fighter, we're all aware that it can happen. Um, that, that injuries that severe do happen in the ring, and but to be a part of it was was terrible. Um, I'll never forget that moment for as long as I live, and it's very, definitely changed my life and career in, in every way. Um, all I can do is be so thankful that she's doing so well now, and, and while she may never step into the ring again, that she's, that she's on her way to another healthy and productive life as a mother and a, a career woman. So, um, you know, you've got to just keep stepping forward. Um, the, this isn't a sport about brutality, it's about a sport of, you know, it's called the sweet science because we really are trying to get in the side of our opponent's head and, and outsmart them and um, you know it was a it's just unfortunate that we get to see the negative as well as the, the positive in the sport. Well I will say this you know a lot of fighters after something like that will kind of lose their aggression and obviously you didn't you stopped sharing inside five rounds last time out uh, it, it, clearly that hasn't affected you in your mindset when you get inside the ring. Um, you know I never go into the ring looking to hurt my opponent um, I never wanted. I never tried to wanted to hurt Frieda Wahlberg. I wanted to win the WBC title. Um, I never wanted to hurt Shannon O'Connell. I just wanted to win, to keep my title. Um, I'm very lucky that um, that I've been gifted to have the opportunity to fight such champions in the sport. Um, I don't want to. Um, it's a it's a fear. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a fear. You know, Lucia and I have talked about it on, on many occasions. Um, but you've just got to try and remain true to the sport that, that we do love so much and um, that has done so much for, for us. Um, and, 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 hope for the, and just hope for and pray for the best. This is, uh, I guess, the, the broadest question ever, but I'll pose it to you anyway. What is it going to take for women's boxing to get exposure inside North America and on the major networks? Because it's drastically different in Europe and even in Australia than it is than the way that it's accepted here in North America. Why is that and what can we do to change it? Well, you're right, it's a very broad question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, it is changing. You know, um, women's boxing is in the Olympic Games now. America, uh, in Clusha Shields, gold medalists. You know, the guys didn't bring back gold, but, but a woman did. Um, Bit by bit, it is changing, and um, and we've just got to keep paving the way for the future until it does completely turn over. Um, the, there is so many uh, talented and incredible female champions that we have in the sport now. Um, 
And you know, it's not in the day, it's not like the days past where, you know, we we punch like a girl, and you know, you you have those old statements that people were making. We have some truly talented and technically, you know, impeccable women out there fighting, and and people love seeing it. So we just need the promoters to keep putting us on shows, keep keep putting the the girls on there, and to to show the world just how just how talented and how great we are and how deserving we are to, to be there. And clearly in the instances where you have been given a chance, they've done great TV ratings in Europe and they've drawn well at the box office as well, so it seems that someone just has to take that leap. You know what, whoever does it first, um, you know, it's money in the bank in, in, in my mind's eye, you know, women are here. Boxing is not going to, women's boxing is not going to disappear if you don't show it. It is here, it's here to stay um, and we're damn good at it. We are damn good at it, and um, and the, the proof is there to see it. So put us on, come down and watch us fight, um, watch us perform, watch us be the champions, watch us be the warriors that we truly are. And, um, and, and yeah, it'll make for a better future for us all, for all athletes and for, for all athletic people who um, are coming upwards and forwards into the sport.